This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Well, here we are again. <laughs> so last month I uploaded a video to my YouTube channel of me learning riffs live on camera, kind of, um, so that you could kind of watch me, watch my process and <laughs> watch me struggle. And a lot of you said that you really enjoyed it and that you would like me to make a series out of it. So here we are with episode two of watching me learn stuff on camera. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm gonna get in this video. I've decided for the sake of my own sanity and yours, um, I'm just gonna learn the intro. This is something that I've tried doing a couple of times and I've never managed to do it accurately and I'm so desperate to learn this properly. But just before we dive into the thick of the video, I'd like to say a really huge thank you to Squarespace for making it possible. I've been hosting my website on Squarespace for just over two years now and I absolutely love it. I mainly use it for my store where I sell merchandise, guitar tabs, digital downloads, backing tracks, guitar picks, signed photos, etc. I really like the fact that you can sell digital downloads super easily using Squarespace. As someone who releases a lot of guitar tabs and backing tracks, this was an absolute necessity for me. I also really like the fact that Squarespace supplies a form option. This makes it so much easier for people to get in touch with me with their business inquiries and make sure that I don't miss their emails. If you'd like to try it, you can head to squarespace.com and claim your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Sophie Burrell and use my code Sophie Burrell to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Back to the video. Seeing as this is something that I've tried a couple of times before, for and haven't been successful, I think it's important I do it by ear. I've got to plug in my guitar. That's correct, smack the new silver sky. Shout. Now I look like an egg. It is 2.22 and we're gonna go now. Okay, right, so first things first, I need to listen to it. Full speed, that's way too fast. We're gonna slow it down. Yeah, 75% uh, speed is still too fast. <laughs> because it's very pentatonic -y, but then Eric dear, oh, my tone was rolled down, Eric dear decides to go off on one, and then I don't know what happens after that, so. <laughs> Is that right? I don't even know, it's not easy to tell. Sounds like he does a hammer on, but I'm not too sure. comes down the neck, but I'm not sure at like which point that happens. I'm gonna play it the selfie way. We can try. Oh, that's so good though. That's not it. That's definitely not it. I think we need to listen again. Something like that. going on. Can't remember what I just did. Uh, it sounds like there's a hammer on, but then it sounds like he moves down the neck, and I think he does. But you can't be in two places at once, and doing this is like not realistic, and it doesn't sound like he's doing that either. We're gonna move on from there. Ten seconds in. Did it ever? Ah. Did it 
Da 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 This bit I remember a little bit being big shapes. I don't remember past that. Um. See, these are the bits I kind of remember because they're more structured. So this is the bit uh, now where I never managed to get it correct before. I think it's the speed of it, it's just so hard as well. Like, I don't know if he picks it or if he like finger picks it or hybrid picks it. This bit's gonna be horrific to work out, I reckon. Uh, yeah, this is new ground for me. I never got this far, basically. <laughs> Playing the wrong note. Classic. Classic barrel. That all happens in the space of four seconds. I have no idea what's happening. Pinch on it. We're 37 minutes in right now. Let's say, okay, so that took about 40 minutes to kind of refresh my memory. We now need to get it somewhat up to speed. This will be tricky because it's not, there's like not, not many points to reference other than if I listen to the song and kind of like play along with him there. It's gonna be so fast, isn't it? I just, it, it just is. I feel like I'm probably not gonna be able to get it as fast as him. Okay, let's try it at f half speed first and see what the hell happens. Try this at 75% speed and see how we do. you can practice to a metronome because he's kind of doing whatever he wants it's not in time with anything or anyone i don't really know how fast it is like i don't know how far away i am tricky tricky maybe i just have to accept the fact that i'm never going to sound like him <laughs> but i feel like if i was to play a cover and play along with him i would sound nothing like him and i'm nowhere near as fast as him either let's try <laughs> I know it's not too much known, but I feel like um, it just might help me set in the muscle memory a little bit more if I do some of it too much So we're gonna try that. Stop it. Yeah, it's gonna be too fast. That was close. 
closer. I've been at this for an hour and 34 minutes now, so that's a fair old chunk of time. I've kind of relearned it and tried to get it as accurate as I can by listening to him. I feel like this is one of the songs that you need to revisit like a bunch of times before you kind of get to your end goal with it, which is fine. And I feel like I've definitely learned new things from it um, by sitting down with it today and doing it by ear instead. And here's me attempting it now. I don't know how well this is gonna go. <laughs> perfect I'm happy with that where it is kind of now there's a couple of areas that I'd like to work on moving forward with it the first one obviously being the I definitely feel like that could be a lot more defined than it is right now um, and then the same on this bit as well um, I would just like that to be a lot more defined as well. <laughs> I feel like Cliffs of Dover is an elite song and every guitar player should learn a part of it at least once in their life to say that they have. <laughs> Today was more of a revisit, relearn and re-practice a song rather than learning it completely from scratch. So I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like, subscribe and drop me a comment down below letting me know what song you would like me to learn next. That is all for today, my lovelies, and I will catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye.